working on because you've written it for somebody else to use, then uh, os.sep will tell you what the uh, separator is for the directories on whichever operating system you're on. Okay, so in part one uh, of this unit, we just uh, did a quick rattle through various ways you could um, navigate around the hard disk, look at different filing paths, look at the various components of them, um, and manipulate them. Um, so now we want to go and look at actually how you can modify the contents of your hard disk. So uh, in units one and two, we were talking about um, uh, uh, reading and writing uh, files on the actual disk, but of course, as well as reading and writing individual files, you might want to copy or move or delete files, uh, and for that matter, directories. And so in this part of the unit, we'll focus on uh, how to go and do this. And for many of the things we're going to use here, we're still going to be using the OS module that we introduced in the previous unit part, but we're also going to introduce the shuutil or shell utilities module, um, or shutil, uh, however you want to say it. It's um, a module which has a bunch of functions in it, which um, sort of sit on top of the fairly low level things that the OS module can do and do um, kind of many of the operations that you would do by typing in at the terminal prompt or dragging and dropping things with your mouse with a window in the file explorer. Okay, so <coughs> um, the uh, first thing we're gonna do then is uh, use copy uh, and this simply copies one file from one place to a different place. Um, so here we're importing the shell utilities module, and then I'm calling the copy function in that module and giving it the original name and the new name. And then the next line, I'm just simply going to list the um, directories um, of the dot, um, things which are like output.txt. And you'll see that I have indeed copied um, that's so why I have a new um, output.txt as well as the output.txt. Uh, okay, and um, if I don't just rather than copying it, I could move it. So, uh, unsurprisingly, that's showutil.move. And again, you give the original name and then the new name you want to move it to. Uh, and this can move um, uh, files from one directory to a different directory. So, although here I'm just using it to rename the file, you could actually move it to a completely new directory uh, while you go about that. And again, you can see just prove that I've, I've renamed new output.txt uh, and is now newer output.txt. Um, to go and delete an individual file, in fact, we don't need to use the shell utilities module because uh, the OS module has a remove function which does that. So os.remove uh, will simply remove um, whatever file you give it as the name. Um, now it won't remove a directory um, and to go and handle directories uh, it takes a little bit different approach but we'll show you that in a second. But for just in, removing and deleting an individual file os.remove will do it nicely. Okay uh, if you need to just simply rename the file so if you don't want to move it to a different directory but you just want to rename it in the directory where it is then there is in fact the os.rename function, which will do that for you. Um, and it's very straightforward. Okay, so that was talking about um, moving and um, copying and deleting individual files. But what if you want to go and do that for complete directories? Um, so uh, if you need to create a new directory, then there are a couple of ways you could do that. Um, so there's an os.mkdir for make directory function. Um, so that just takes the uh, name of a new subdirectory that should be created within an existing directory and goes off and creates that subdirectory. So that's like, like doing new folder uh, in a file explorer window. Um, uh, and it goes off and does that. The problem with os.makedir is that it, um, can't go and make a subdirectory of a subdirectory of a subdirectory if the um, intervening directories don't exist. So you can't do, for example, in this case, creating a subdirectory of a subdirectory um, if the um, if the if the parent directories don't already exist, then it will return a, a file not found error. 
So to get around this, um, there's another function, os.makeDERS, um, uh, which is actually slightly easier to use because it will make all the missing levels of the subdirectories. Um, and if you set the keyword parameter there, exist OK is true, then even if it doesn't end up having to do anything at all, it won't throw an error. So uh, makeDERS will go and create um, subdirectory one and then subdirectory two. If subdirectory one already exists, it won't complain at you. Uh, and then if I have exist underscore OK equals true, if subdirectory two also exists already, it won't complain at me. So if you like, it's a fail safe way of knowing that a particular directory definitely is going to exist after you've called that. Um, if you want to go and use, uh, if you want to go and copy um, a directory and all its contents, including all its subdirectories and all their contents, um, then you do need to use the shell util uh, model, uh, module, and there's a copy tree function there that will go and do this. So um, shell util copy tree will move um, an entire directory um, uh, from one place on your hard disk to a different place on your hard disk hard disk. So here I'm copying all the files and all the subdirectories used to make these videos into my temp folder um, and then showing that I've got them all there. Um, if you want to simply move a directory um, rather than copy it, then the shell util uh, move also works with whole directories as well. So you can just say I want to move this subdirectory from here to over there. Uh, and we'll do it. So here's an example where I'm moving that um, folder I just copied and I'm moving it around inside the temp folder. Um, and so what I go and do is show that um, I actually have managed to go and move the, the whole folder there. Okay, so then the last bit then is to go and remove directories. Um, uh, and uh, if you want to remove a whole directory of files, including all its contents and all its subdirectories and everything else, um, then the shell util rm tree for remove tree will go and do this for you. But of course, this is incredibly dangerous. Um, if you accidentally remove the wrong folder, you could end up um, uh, causing yourself some serious grief. Um, so you want to be pretty careful about what it is you're about to go and trash. Um, but it's very straightforward. You just give it the folder, the directory name that you want it to remove, and it will then delete all that, all the files in that directory and the directory itself uh, and all its subdirectories. Um, if you've already got just an empty directory, I mean, you can still use RM tree, but you can also just remove an empty directory on its own with the OS RM dir, um, which is uh, stat short for remove directory. And in fact, the shell util um, is, um, in effect, what it's doing is um, going to the directory you specify, finding the, all the subdirectories, going to all those subdirectories and working its way all the way up and then doing an os.remove on every single file and then coming out of that subdirectory and doing an os.rmdir and then repeating that all the way up and down the tree so that, and then she clears the whole tree out. Now, as I say, it does that in a slightly more efficient way than doing it by hand if you were to code it, but it's, it's the sequence of operations that it's doing is the same. So the OS remove and the OS RM dir work on single files and single empty directories. And then the shell util RM tree will just go and do it for everything all in one go. And is therefore that bit quicker and easier to use. Um, but anyway, uh, RM dir will go and work uh, to remove your file for you.